SEC road trip driven by Chevy heading to Tallahassee, Florida. Florida State, Clemson, it's going to be a great weekend. Folks, we are rolling to Tallahassee, Florida in our 2012 Chevy Silverado King Cab, one of the sweetest tailgating vehicles out on the market today. This thing is one nice ride. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this edition of the ACC Road Trip, driven by Chevy. We're in Tallahassee, Florida. All right, so when we pull into Tallahassee, the first thing we got to do is come by Bobby Bowden Field right here at Joe Campbell Stadium to check out this place the day before the big game. And look who we ran into, the one, the only, one of the greatest to ever lace them up here in Seminole Country, Chris Winky. Chris, this is hallowed ground when it comes to football. You got a chance to play here. You excelled here. What was it like coming out on this field when this place is packed and rocking? Well, it's the best place in the country by far, and I was fortunate to be a part of something that was very special here. And uh, we had 49 consecutive wins at home. So in my four-year career here, I never lost a football game. So I never had to take a shower and leave this stadium after a loss. So that was special for me. So you threw a truckload of touchdown passes here at Dirt Campbell Stadium. You got it in the third one more? I always got one for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here comes a blitz from the linebacker. Goes the pass of the corner. Oh, oh great. Touchdown oh. official at two spell. Goes airborne and breaks it in. I see you, Chris Wink. Four seconds left on the clock. All right. We're down by six. Okay. We need a touchdown. Try it okay. Here's what we need. Right here. I'm yeah. going to go on one. Okay. okay. I want it up. Push vertical. Outbreak. I'm going to hit you right when you come out of the break. You got it. On one on one. Ready? Ready. Hey. Go goes the sideline route. Big round toward the corner of the end zone. It is caught. Oh, it's a touchdown. Touchdown, baby. Show. Yeah. <laughs> How sweet was that? I just caught a touchdown pass right here, Bobby Bowdenfield from a former Heisman Trophy winner. Not many people can say that. It's been a great day so far. It's about to get better because we're going downtown for a big old block party, Seminole style. <laughs> before the big kickoff on Saturday, and we were downtown Tallahassee. I promise you folks, this is one of the best pre-game pep rally, block parties, whatever you want to call it, you will find in the ACC. We're going to have a blast. Let's go, Rolls! Let's go, let's go, Rolls! Let's Guys gotta do what a guy's gotta do to get meal money. T-shirts! Woo! It smells good. I'm getting ready to eat it. Tell everybody what's going on down here, say the people that aren't here know. It is absolute madness. Wall to wall people and everyone is psyched for the Seminoles tomorrow. Yeah. Seminole Friday night block party is absolutely a blast. Yeah. We're getting ready to go home though because we got a big day tomorrow. Clemson's in the house. Dope Camel's gonna be rocking. You're coming with us. So anybody around here know which way to do the best tailgates? That way? Let's go. Yeah. 
tailgate, nothing like it. Yeah, baby. Mm. Hey, favorite part about the job? <laughs> you get to eat. Eating. Being a Florida State Seminole is all about pride, it's all about spirit, it's all about having a good time. You uphold that garnet and gold every day, every day. Good time. It is what it's all about. And go Knowles. So we have had a blast tailgating with the Seminole Nation as always, but it is almost game time. We're going into Dope Campbell Stadium, but before we do that, we're going to go check in with one of the greatest traditions in college football, Chief Osceola and Renegade. And then it's game time. Oh, I love college football. Here at FSU, they got some great traditions. Probably the best and the most exciting one, Chief Osceola, when he rides out on Renegade, plants a spear at the 50-yard line, the place goes crazy. We're about to take you behind the scenes to see how it all gets started. It's a Leopard Appaloosa. He's uh, 15 years old. He is our fifth Renegade. They've all been Appaloosas. Uh, the tradition of Osceola and Renegade was started by my father back in 1978, and we're just thrilled to be able to continue to do it to this day with the support of the Seminole Tribe of Florida and Florida State University. They start with a layer of base uh, makeup, and it changes me to a little bit darker tint. Um, then they go over it with the, the war stripes, and uh, all that is uh, researched and um, developed by Mr. William Durham and uh, he researched and did a lot of thought about how the paint was actually going to be applied and it all goes back to roots with the Seminole Tribe. The regalia is all authentic. Um, the Seminole Tribe of Florida actually makes that for us and they donate that to the program, their gift to the, to the university and to the program. When you mount Renegade, it's a chill bump moment. Describe that every time you get on that horse and you get ready to go out in the middle of the Bobby Bowden Field. I've gotten feedback from the team, and they just they love when I rear that horse up and plant that spear. You know, they're like, Let's go, baby. all the preparation that we do, everything that we do, it comes down to that moment. And when you plant that spear, it sends us over the edge. in the second half. So much fun though. Keep logging on to the acc.com slash road trip and be sure to register to win two tickets to the CMAs in November. We'll see you next week. Let's go Knowles. Let's go.